And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Ryan Stout here from HSBNSports.com, broadcasting live from Buffalo Wild Wings on 441 in Wilds. We want a big shout out to them for letting us come out tonight and featuring two top teams here in Coral Springs, Coral Glades High School and Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. We got student athletes coming your way. We got impact players once again broadcasting live here from Buffalo Wild Wings. We're doing our midweek presser. We got two gentlemen up here today with us. We got Jamari and TJ and we're going to kick things off like this. They got a game against Coral Springs Charter tomorrow. It's homecoming, guys. TJ, I'm going to start it off with you. Let's talk about last. You could, we could say last week, but unfortunately, it wasn't last week because we've had about two weeks off from football, right? Yeah. yeah. It's been a while since these guys have been back on the field, so we're excited to get back into the action. But let's uh, let's start with the Terravella game. That was uh, that was a pretty exciting game. We, uh, we kicked things off. We did a live broadcast with you guys. And uh, the Swamp Bowl, it was exciting. Very. You guys came out. There was high expectations, a big crowd, just overall excitement. Talk about the things that you did for yourself, TJ, just pre preparing for the Swamp Bowl coming into that week. You know, I try to get my mindset right. You know, coach has been cracking down on us like, this, this is a game that we had to, you know, come out and get the victory and, you know, we fell short. But, you know, I feel like the team was well prepared for the, for the game and, you know, we just better let next yeah. time. Just, uh, just give us the overall mindset, um, the things that you did that week to prepare for such a, such a big game. You know, it's Coral Springs, it's the Swamp Bowl. There was just a lot of excitement in general. What were some of the things that you did to prepare for that week? You know, I watched a lot of film, a lot of film on Terrebella, and, you know, they're a team that Coral Glaze has yet to beat, and I believe that with the team that we have right now, our current roster, that yeah. we could beat them. Yeah. But, you know, I just watch film, I just watch film and, you know, I practice hard. Yeah. Jamari, let's follow up with that. Just overall, um, was this your first Swamp Bowl? Yes, sir. So, ultimately... You know, guys, obviously, the veterans were talking about some of the things that were going on and, you know, what to expect that week. What were some of the things that you did to prepare yourself mentally and physically for that Terravella football game? Go hard and practice every day. Yeah. Um, go through practice like it's game motion. Don't, play, don't take plays off and stay in the film room and learn. Yeah. And um, um, it starts from practice, just coming to practice every day and taking it serious. 100% give it all you got every day. Well, let's uh, let's talk about just in the game. You're obviously a starter. You're an impact player this week going into this homecoming game. What were some of the things that you wanted to accomplish for that Terravella game yourself? Well, it's always about the win. Yeah. It's the number one thing going into the game. And my team, we fell short, but um, it, was, it was just about the win, though, because yeah. I'm a team player, and I feel like um, my team is more than me. And I just wanted the W. Yeah. Talk us through. So we get down to the end of the game. It's on the defense's back. You know, coaches called all the right calls. You get, you know, everything goes your way. Defense scores. And then all of a sudden, just give us an idea. So for people that don't know, you didn't watch the Terravella football game versus Coral Glades. It was a high snap. So all you guys had to do was kick the extra point and game over, right? So sure. just, just walk us through just mentally what it felt like to just sit there and feel you know you had the win in your hands and then all of a sudden just a simple mistake like that talk about it it hurt it and, yeah. it's, and it's always the close ones that hurt yeah. because we was right there we had it tied it up one point less than 50 seconds to go and we couldn't compromise and accomplish the field goal but that happens though yeah we just gotta just come to practice and get ready for the next game so offense was obviously struggling a bit that game, TJ. Uh, you know, being a defensive player, outside linebacker, what were, uh, you know, just give us the feeling of being able to say, you know what, put the defense back out there. We're going to win this football game. You know, I believe our offense was struggling, but the defense coach said we have to rely on the defense to come out there, you know, make plays, make some stops to get the offense back out there. And I believe that's what we did, you know. And the defense, the defense just tries to move to, to stop the plays and you know not get any um no downs. On yeah. Us, okay? So we just try to go out there and do our best. I got for the offense. Well, ultimately, like I said, you know, you guys been off you know the game field for a while. 
you know, Pembroke Pines charter weather situation. I'm not even sure what happened in Key West situation. Was that you guys had to forfeit that game? Yes, sir. What was it? Was that weather issue or? Yes, sir. That was weather. So, I mean, two games in a row. Uh, we haven't been on the field. What were some of the things? Let's talk about Coral Springs charter homecoming. Obvious reasons. Homecoming is a huge game to win for just school pride, school spirit. Um, honestly, homecoming is usually the game that you pick that you expect to win. Obviously, you expect to win all the games, but this is one especially, you know. Um, talk about preparation. Jamari, we'll start with you. Uh, some of the things that you keyed in on film study for this week's game. Um, just their um, receivers and their running back because this team, they like to, like, do tricky plays and like to bunch it up and try to do real trick plays. So my key is to always stay on my game and don't fall asleep because this team like to do very tricky things as yeah. i've seen in the film room and just stay on my game and and don't take plays off like i yeah. said earlier and just go 100 percent now cold springs charter you know they're struggling struggling a little bit this year just based on what their record is um but the fact that they came over you know still in the independent conference this is you know basically a championship team a follow-up championship team does that affect you in any way of how you approach this game tomorrow, knowing that some of those guys understand what it takes to win a championship? Jamar, go ahead. No, not at all, because yeah. I feel like the team we have, that we can be anybody that we play. It's just that we just got to come out and just, and just accomplish what we did in practice and just execute. That's yeah. the most important thing, and, and have confidence. You got to have confidence in your teammates, and I feel like even if they've been to the – Wherever they have been, all the success they had, I feel like we could still beat them because we have a very pretty good team and some very good athletes on our team. Yeah. TJ, I ask you the same. You know, just following up this week, uh, preparation. It's a short week for a lot of these guys because weather, you know, the hurricane last week. So a lot of games are being played tonight uh, on Monday as well. What were some of the things that you did this week to prepare for this homecoming game? You know, practice hard, man. Every day I go out there and practice, I try to practice my best like it's a real game situation. You know, I got to go and watch film, you know, prepare myself mentally and physically for the upcoming game. And I just feel as if this team that we have is it has the determination and the desire to win. Yeah. And we'll come out victorious. Now, as an impact player and just specific to your position, what were some of the things that you keyed in on this week in film study? I keyed in on my position at uh, most. I keyed in on, you know, watching the runs, watching the flares, if the, report, if the running back flares out, and, you know, really looking to see if like, I can spot any weaknesses in their offense, if they're in their offensive nine, if I'm blitzing or anything. You know, I just really, you know, keyed in focused and try to you try to look at their positions and you know, try to see what any weaknesses I can spot. Got you. Now, there's always there's just always been a lot of talk about Coral Glades football in general. You know, ups and downs. We don't have to get into, you know, the coaches changing and stuff like that, but Coach Baldwin, obviously, he talks about changing the culture one day at a time. Academics, ac those, those are just things that I know he drills into you just from experience being out there with you guys on a regular basis. Have, and, and I'll start with you, TJ, we want to know, have we seen Coral Glades football? What is it really about? Have we seen it yet? Um, the first half of the season, it was rough, but for the first time in Glades history, we did come out 2-0 yeah. at the beginning of the season. You know, I feel as if Coach Baldwin has done some great things with this team, his yeah. alma mater, changing the culture one day at a time. Yeah. And I feel like if we continue on the, our current path, that we can become a force to be reckoned with. Got gotcha. you. Do you think overall you guys have identified your swagger? <laughs> yeah. I think our swagger, you know, we go out there, we try to look good, you know, play hard, you know. We just we just try to go out there and get the W every time you go out there. Got gotcha. you. Now, Jamari, same to you. Um, you know, obviously with your record in place, you know, the ups and downs, the hurdles that you guys have faced, do you think overall the public, um, even you guys, just from your school, do you think you guys have really showed what Coral Glades football is all about yet? Yeah, no, because I, I feel like we're better than what our record is. Yeah. It's just that things like injuries happen, um, but to to um, to be real, I feel like we we better than what our record is. We just got to um, um, admit it and be real about it, and our teammates, we know that we can be better than what we are, and I feel like, no, we, we better than every team in our district. Yeah. Now, that swagger, 
Same thing I asked DJ. Have, have you guys identified your swagger yet on the football field? Yeah, yeah. We like to play hard, and we like to get in teams' head, and we like to just, just, just play football and have fun. Gotcha. Well, overall, guys, once again, impact players. For those that are joining us tomorrow night, Cool Glades and Cool Springs Charter, it's their homecoming. So it's a big one to watch. We're broadcasting it live there from the Sportsplex in Coral Springs. Tonight, you're watching us under the lights, our first midweek presser here at Buffalo Wild Wings in Coral Springs, Florida. We thank these two gentlemen, TJ Bailey, Jamari Brown, for joining us. Guys, good luck tomorrow. And we got one more guy coming on. We'll be right back. Once again, Ryan Stout bringing you all the action here from this midweek presser here on HSBNSports.com.